fiberglass reinforcement bar or steel reinforcement bars. What's the happen? I'll give you the street version so that I don't zone out. Are you ready? Get ready, get ready. Let's go. Steel is a veteran soldier, you know? You don't fight Vietnam, you don't fight civil war, everything. You can bend it on site, tie it, crank it in case of minor human errors. And it warns you before failure. It will bend, cracks will show. You'd have time to react. It can rust, yes. So you protect it with cover, good concrete and coatings. For most buildings, steel is still the everyday champion. Fiberglass reinforcement is the new kid in town. Very light to carry. You can carry three pieces of 16mm like broomstick, literally. It doesn't rust, it's not magnetic. It is awesome for coastal walks, pools, basically anywhere where water and salt would disgrace steel. But, and this but is very huge, you cannot bend it on sight. Any hook, stirrup, or crank must be prevent from the factory. If your drawings change, wasted, your bars cannot. <laughs> and when fiberglass fails, it just fails. No warning bend, no hold on. It just goes. It goes down like a controlled explosion. Also, heat is not his friend, so fire design needs extra thinking. What about cost and availability? Oh, uh, here we go. In many markets, fiberglass per meter can price above steel. But life cycle wins when corrosion is wicked. In Nigeria, supply and lead times will determine your headache. You want to import, plan ahead. If your project is a normal frame with beams, columns, and slabs, then still will be the simpler, safer, faster route. If you are fighting rust or need non-magnetic reinforcement, then consider fiberglass in slabs, screeds, parapets, seawall caps, water works, but only with a structural engineer that knows his playbook. So which one should you use? Teach me. Simple. Match the material to the risk. If it's ordinary buildings that need lots of site adjustments and you need ductility, use steel. Are you battling aggressive moisture or salt? Do you need corrosion immunity? Do you have clear drawings? Then fiberglass is the way, but selectively. If you want to read further without getting a headache, ask your engineer for the ACI 440 guide specific to fiberglass design or the usual BS 8110 or Eurocode 2 for steel reinforcement. That is where the rule sits. But most importantly, do not DIY this one. <laughs> you think it's a joke? Let the calculations choose the bar, not the trend. I've been Fala Jomi. See you on the next one.